guys, thanks for joining us. So today we've got a review coming for you uh, of the new Strixon Z785 driver. Mm -hmm. So um, I think in the past, there's been a little bit of chat that Strix and actually have a bit of a sleeper in the driver category. I know my goal spy done right. uh, a pretty uh, extensive review of the previous 765, and, and they actually found it was it was a very good, uh, very good driver in their independent testing. Right. We we tested it in here, and it was it was decent. Right. Um, and it was okay, but it, it never quite kind of. Uh, stacked up to the other drivers that we had from paying and usual suspects, Callaway, TaylorMade, Cobra, um, the, the companies we carry in the wood category. Mm -hmm. um, so we were really excited to test this one today. Absolutely. Um, you know, Strix and themselves have, have certainly been pretty bold in their claims about how good this one is. Yep. Um, you know, we obviously have our meetings with our reps and, and that type of thing uh, when, when they launch these products. and. They were really keen to tell the story and how some of the innovation they've been able to put into this driver will really help a lot of golfers. Yep. So a lot of it is based on the ball speed. Very um, much going after coming the off ball the face. They want to kind of catch it up to the other competitors that yeah. have become fast, like Sub Zero and M3 and mm -hmm. such like that. Yep. So from a technology standpoint, um, Carbon Crown. Right. So again, just you know, weight savings uh, to in order to put the weight in the right spot. This isn't really where you want the mass of the golf club. So mm. going with a slightly thinner carbon crown on top allows the engineers to do more from an innovation standpoint around the sole and at the back. Gotcha. Okay, so uh, one of the biggest features though that, that is going to lead to this additional ball speed is going to be the cup face technology. Yeah, so tell us what I, I hear that term a lot. I hear it with Callaway's irons. What does that mean? What is the well, cup face? Basically what's the, well, basically a cup face is, 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 is when you have a, a, a sort of a weld on the, on the driver. Mm -hmm. So you can either make the body and then weld in a, a face plate. Yep. Or you can actually go with, with a, a, an actual, you know, what's called a, a cup face. So it actually wraps around the oh, body okay. of the club. So this entire piece here is all face. So that whole entire face, face and and slightly into the body yep. is is all one piece. So that's gotcha. that's the cup that goes over the top of the face. So that should help with ball speed on miss hits yeah. as well. Designed basically to to flex a little bit more. So uh, rather than having, like we said, a, a kind of a, a, a sort of insert in there, mm. a face plate. Um, that has basically two different materials in there and that has a weld around that so it's not going to help the you know the, the, the face flex as much as you'd want it mm -hmm. so the the whole face is the same material and it's all designed obviously to maximize energy transfer gotcha are they are most companies doing that like are most companies using a cup face or are they fairly unique it kind of goes back uh, you know several years I mean I remember the first time I really heard uh, a lot about cup face and it was actually in a tour exotics um, yeah, fairway. Remember Do you remember that? The yep. C so the CB2 was a bit of a, a kind of legendary um, fairway wood mm. uh, used by a bunch of guys on the PGA Tour, certainly non-contracted to do so. They just played it because it performed it really so good. good and it was a cup face technology on the fairway wood. And now, you know, I know Callaway have got cup face technology, and it's just a lot more, a lot more popular and, and evident in the marketplace. But um, you know, Strix and putting that into their drivers and it has really led to some increase in ball speed for them. Right. Um, what we did find, I guess, right away hitting it was the acoustics were quite good. The acoustics were excellent. I think it sounded really nice yeah, yeah. and feel-wise, um, really quite solid. I think mm -hmm. it reminded me a lot of my own in terms yep. of uh, the sound and the feel. For sure. My, my G400 LST. Um, but I think that would probably be maybe what people would initially wonder about a, a triber head they haven't tried. Mm -hmm. What's it going to feel like? What's it going to sound like? Yeah. I would say it's, you know, it's on par with some of the better feeling and sounding heads that we've tried. 100%. And that's yeah. very important. I think instantly the first few shots, if, if the feedback you get from the golf club is a little bit odd to you, mm -hmm. it's quite hard to accept the club uh, okay. at that point. So, you know, making sure those, you know, first impressions uh, are, are you know, key in any uh, in any scenario, but certainly when you first hit a club, you, you've you've got to it's got to catch your attention, and this was great. Yeah, after the looks, that's got to be the number one thing. Because your first swing, you're going to hear it, you're going to mm -hmm. feel it, and you're going to think, okay, can I or can yeah. I not accept how this is? And we've we've talked a lot about the the sort of uh, relationship between acoustics and feel right. uh, on the channel a bunch, right. and um, you know initially you actually kind of your initial impressions were that you thought it might be quite a loud driver just yeah I don't know what it was maybe just the way that the metal looks on the face because we've tried yeah. a few drivers the Mizuno for example um, maybe just the way the face was designed it reminded yeah. me of that and I thought 
this might be a higher pitch yeah, yeah. club. It's not at but all. But when you hit it, it was more of a solid it kind of thud more um, muted, yeah. than, than, than a, a high pitch. Um, That's what most people seem to like, you would say, lately. Like the M3 is kind of like that too. It's yeah. kind of like a nice, solid feeling club. Right. Sub Zero is a bit, I guess, a bit different in that sense. Slightly, slightly different, different uh, sound pitch. off that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, performance wise, yeah. um, you know, in, in the independent test, and you guys, I mean, I, I guess. Strix are going to throw some serious marketing dollars behind some of the independent research yeah. that they've done. So they, they actually went out to San Diego and tested with Swing Labs and um, you know done some independent testing. And their, their independent testing showed that this was faster than, faster than Rogue, faster than M3, M4, and faster than G400. This is very interesting. So that's a swing robot testing the, the mm -hmm. clubs with the equal strike points and that's speed it. and all yep. that kind so of stuff. So they tested it on five different strike points. Um, center, high, low, tone, heel. Um, they tested it with a, a you know stiff shaft in there at the same speed, hmm. and, and they said the average was about two miles an hour ball speed gain over all these other drivers. It's pretty significant at this point when they've maxed out most mm -hmm. ball speed gains. You would say for technology. I mean, your center face hits. Anyway. Center face hits certainly. Yeah. 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 So it's it's interesting. You know, it's. It's got a thing that's going to you know, catch a lot of people's attention that there's a real ball speed story here and mm -hmm. um, you know, in, in our test we, we certainly found it was very fast. Yeah, it, it pretty much caught up or kept up I would say with, with, uh, with my driver in, yeah. in ball speed. I mean the, the tricky thing is for you is you know, we've, we've really dialed this one in for you I this know. year. I'm and so comfortable, I'm so comfortable it. with this guy. Yeah. You know, we found uh, what one, one sort of asterisk against the test was we, we actually weren't able to use the same shaft in both. Right. So you had your team TPT and your ping, and, and we had a uh, we had a, a different shaft in the Strixon. Yeah. Um, so you know maybe there's a little bit of, of, of that in there, and possibly you know, yeah. something I would maybe love to do another test at some point on gears and and you know once we mm. get the gear system just to see from a deflection standpoint yeah. uh, what we what we get. So um, no, I thought it was a, a really really good performance from the Strixon driver. So the Ball speed with the Z785 came out at 166. Mm -hmm. Launch angle 12.3, uh, 23, 8, 24 in the spin. Okay, so, so we had very similar. Pretty good. Very similar. Yeah. Um, mine did seem to be a little bit more fade bias, which we know to be a, a characteristic of this club anyway. LS Tech sits a little more. Sits a bit more open. And this does, when you set it down on the ground, the Strix on, it definitely sits a lot more square than that one. Right. So people will definitely notice that. But you have the ability to to adjust this, right? Yeah, so it's got it's, they've got the loft sleeve which right. you can turn it up uh, one degree, down one degree, which adjusts face angle by two. Yep. Um, you can move it upright as well, so you can adjust lie angle independently. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's got as much adjustability as the ping, so yeah. very similar, maybe not quite as much as Tailman and Callaway, but very similar to the ping. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it, it was three yards in it. From the driver that we've really dialed you in for this year, it was only three yards back, which is crazy. In, in to say. total yeah. result, it and, was, and a shaft that the shaft that we haven't, I've never even hit before. Good yeah. shaft and similar profile, but certainly not one I was fit for. You are familiar with it, yeah. So to get similar numbers, um, I mean, when you think about it, this is obviously a much less scientific test than, than what they've done at the golf labs. Sure. Um, so if you're looking for a ball speed comparison, maybe this is not perfectly scientific because mm -hmm. it is just me swinging. Yeah. But we can, without a doubt, say that this is keeping up quite nicely. Is yeah. it faster? I think people will have to test it out and find out for themselves. Yeah, that, that's uh, going to be something. Fitting. Yeah, yeah, it's going it to be does. something that, that you got to find out. And, yeah. and you know, there's going to be certain times. We always find guys that, that we learn more about the heads as we go along. I mean, this is mm. day one for us. Absolutely. Um, figuring it out. So, you know, with quad and we're learning on strike patterns. You know, we know, for example, there's certain heads. If we have a customer that you know, always seems to find the low part of the head or the high part of the head. Okay. There's certain heads that deal with that better than others. So, yep. you know, you just, you have to spend time getting to know these products inside out, upside down. And, you know, this is this is day one for us. So, yeah. you know, the fact that it's, it's hanging right there with your fitted driver is, is a real... It's impressive, isn't uh, it? So, yeah, so it's a really neat thing. So, um, results are results are really good. Two ninety two in the carry, three fifteen total. Mm -hmm. Flight was really good. Very uh, very sort of 
consistent uh, in, in the ball flight. You actually said one thing that was interesting. You had a couple of toe strikes with it. Yeah. And you felt like they, you thought they would have hooked quite a lot. Yes, and, and they, they didn't. were very stable and on miss hits. They were like super high launch and low spin, but they didn't really cross over the center line to mm -hmm. the degree that I would have expected. Interesting. Um, now, to be fair, we didn't keep them in the test because they were really poor strikes, mm -hmm. but I think I got they away with too them. too much ball speed, didn't Yeah, they? but I got away with them so much better than I think I'm used to. Like even with mine, when mm -hmm. I tow mine badly, yep. Um, it is a forgiving driver, but I do feel it twists quite a bit. Right. This one, I think the high toe, maybe that's you know a strength of this driver. Mm -hmm. As you say, the sub-zero is good down, yeah, down here. Yeah, anything with jailbreak is good low in the head. This might be one that's good high in the toe mm -hmm. in terms of stability. Right. I mean, just my observation, but mm -hmm. from the shots we hit, but I think uh, someone might find that in their testing. Yeah. I say it's important to it's important to note those those types of things because we can't always hit every shot in the centre of, of the club. That's the reality yeah. of it. So, um, interesting. I think this is this is going to be a, a you know it's a driver that we now carry at TXG. I yep. think you'll probably find uh, other shops like us are starting to carry the woods and and we this is actually would be the first time we've ever carried tricks and woods in the in the store. Just a testament to how good that they're performing, yeah. obviously, because if For they sure. if they weren't quite there, you just you don't carry yeah, them. Yeah, we, we don't carry them. This is a performance store. We're not carrying it because of the name on it. Yes. It's not. It's not. It's not brand associations in here. It's mm -hmm. performance because ultimately, if we can't show impro improvements to our customers, you know, yeah. the, there's there's no business. Well, so what are they paying for, right? Yeah, exactly. That that's yeah. that's ultimately the name of the game. They're coming in for to see improvements. So, you know, our selection of driver heads, iron heads, fairways, hybrids, you know, the whole mm -hmm. thing. It's all about performance. So. You know, I'm, I'm happy to put this in there and put up against anything and, and let's see how it performs. I think people for sure should make that a point to test it alongside of a, a Callaway yeah. and a TaylorMade and make yeah. sure it's part of your short list. Yeah, I'm sure uh, to test out. in the fall here, uh, and, and certainly, you know, the autumn as they would, we would call it in the UK, <laughs> um, there'll be demo days because of the launch. A lot of demo days, you'll probably see the, the uh, Cleveland tricks and uh, okay. staff out there doing a lot of demo days at the back end of the year so yeah. get out there and, and try them absolutely you know doesn't necessarily you know warrant going in and booking a fitting session just to try the head but yeah. take your own driver along do a little comparison see how you like it right. uh, and, and see how it stacks up you know most companies will now have a launch monitor present at these launch just these say days that's a factor too yeah right? that's a factor yeah. get to see the numbers and do that comparison and you'll see for yourself pretty quickly whether there's improvements or not and stock shaft wise, there are, we talked about with this with the hybrid as well. They're offering yeah. the hazardous line. Hazardous so line very good of stock shaft, shaft yep, as well. Yep. They offer the red and the black, I believe. Yep. Um, so yeah, you no know, great, great, great kind of, high quality yeah, stuff. Nice, nice to have those in there as well because, as we all know, you know the head is one thing, but having obviously you know the right shaft to create mm. the right time and the right energy, you know it's like anything else. You know, you you need the right dance partner. Of course. Yeah. Yep. You know, the, the, the head needs the dance partner in the shaft. Mm. And I think I think that was the moral of the story for this test. Probably, yeah. We probably could have, I mean, <laughs> the funny thing is that these were so close anyway. Mm -hmm. I think if I had to use my shaft in that head, maybe we would have narrowed the gap even further. I, I think so. I, um, I think there might have been a little extra ball speed. Just a little extra it. ball speed, yep. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it's, as you say, it's so so important to get the pairing with the mm -hmm. head and the shaft that works. Gotta get it. Yeah. It's so important. Awesome. Good. Guys, um, you know, get out and try the, the mm -hmm. new uh, Strixon line of woods. It's not just the driver, the woods in general. You know, the, the, we tested the hybrid. It was phenomenal. It was very good. Uh, we're really excited to test the fairway wood uh, once we get our hands on that. Mm -hmm. The driver stacks up. They're high performance. They look great. I they love do. the cosmetics, the black and red. Uh, really, uh, really goes well together. It looks sharp. It looks fantastic. So, um, yeah, I would encourage people to definitely get out and try it. Agreed. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.